Hello, Center High School. I'm Sean. And I'm Beth. Later in the show, we have a feature story produced by Josh Cagle, so stay tuned. Career Connection starts now! Bulletin for Thursday, October 16th, 2014. Seniors, Sac State is giving a presentation on Thursday, October 23rd, second period in the library. Sign up now in the College and Career Center to attend. Softball, player meeting Tuesday, October 21st. Meet out at the softball field bleachers. If unable to make the meeting, email Coach Derek at centersoftball at gmail.com. All girls planning on trying out for basketball in November and are not in a fall sport must attend conditioning Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at Riles from 4.30 to 5.30. No conditioning this Friday due to homecoming. Today is the last day to sign up for the P PSAT. Register for the test at the ASB office by paying the $20 fee. Room assignments for the testing will be posted on the, center, on the student center door and the doors of the math building starting first lunch on Friday. Today's sports, girls golf versus Colfax at Cherry Island, 3.15 p.m. Volleyball versus Foothill at home, 4 o'clock p.m. Boys soccer versus Bear River also at home at 5 o'clock p.m. Transformed Bible Club meets today in room 116 from 2.45 to 3.30. And now it's time for our feature titled Travis Succeeds, produced by Josh Cagle. Taekwondo is a challenging and physical martial art. Taekwondo is for male or female, young or old. Taekwondo can be for anyone. In Korean, Tae means to strike or break with the foot. Kwan means to strike or break with the fist. And Do means the way of life. Taekwondo may be loosely translated as the way of the hand and foot. Nowhere does the name suggest the use of your eyes. Travis Bond certainly knows that because he has earned his second belt in only two months. And Travis is blind. I was born with perfect vision and in November of 2008 I was diagnosed with a brain tumor that put pressure on my optic nerves. I see better out of my peripherals. Anything in the center of my vision is really blurry. I would always reach for something and just miss it. And the big thing is we've been doing for the orange belt form we learned the round kicks and so she's been having us do multiple round kicks without putting our leg down. We'll do step side kicks and everything and um, you know we want him to figure out their distancing from the bag and because he can't see the bag as well as anybody else he really focuses on that distancing so he picks it up and he's thinking about it. It's helped me with my balance and my depth perception figuring out how long my arms and legs are. He's got better senses on things you know I, I think he's his other senses are developed a little bit more. His hearing is really quick. Usually most anything with hearing I can do better. Like if if it was a dark place I would have the advantage because I could hear where they're moving. The main thing is the hearing but also like some touch. I can undo knots without looking at them. And when I first started with the cane I always walk with my head down looking where I'm going but with you know the added confidence boost I can walk with my head up and it makes me more comfortable with the world like I fit in better than you know just oh that's that blind guy who's always walking around I feel more normal when I first went blind I never did the crying to the to the sky going why me why me I just asked the doctors, what do I do next? And went through the chemo treatment, I went to the Society for the Blind, learned my blind skills, and now I'm going to college. It takes some courage to do, like getting out in the world, going to college, and getting around the campus on my own. If I can do it, anybody could do it. It just takes, um, you taking charge of your life and and figuring out what you need to do to make yourself better. In life, everyone has challenges to overcome. Some of them are just easier to see than others. Reporting for CTV, I'm Josh Cagle. 
That's it for today's show. If you have any news or information you would like on CTV, please drop by Room 305 and tell us. I'm Sean. And I'm Bethany. And thanks for watching CTV. When you don't take your senior portraits, you get beat up. Uh, no. Or you didn't take your senior portraits. <laughs> I'm taking your shoes. When you get beat up, you get made fun of. <laughs> they didn't take their senior portraits, losers. <laughs> <laughs> when you get made fun of, your girlfriend dumps you. You got made fun of, and you didn't take your senior portraits? It's over. Don't get dumped. Take your senior portraits.